Hello everybody and welcome to the official Farming Simulator website. It has just very recently been updated. It seems to update every Friday uh, when there is a fact sheet Friday, but it is actually updating with extra brands, extra implements which aren't necessarily focused on in that week's fact sheets. So I've got quite a lot of stuff to show you. You might have already seen this for yourself because obviously this website is public, but I'm just going to show you anyway if you're interested. Obviously, if you're not interested, then you can move on to the next video. But um, yes, here we go. This is everything which is on the website at the moment. So uh, this is the 14th September, but I'm sure it'll be very similar on the 15th, which is when this video is going out. If not, I can always do another update video. So we have the Agco range just here. You can see we have got the ideal combine harvester. Some of these things have already been focused on in fact sheets, in which case I won't be going over the technical information. I'll just click on the details and you can read them for yourself. If it's something we haven't seen before, then I'll obviously cover it. So we've also got the Dynaflex header, the 9255. And we've also got the PowerFlow header just here as well. Now we've also got a number of weights. We've got 650 kilograms, 1.1 tons, 1.5 tons, and 2.3 tons. Obviously, you can read it in kilograms as well. So, yeah, nice range of weights just there. We then have AgriSen. This is a very large subsoiler, and in fact, it has a working width of 8 meters, which is obviously quite wide for a subsoiler. That's why the required horsepower is 420. We then have Bednar. This was in a fact sheet, I believe. Um, and it is, uh, yeah, a very large cultivator requiring a large amount of horsepower. We then have Breedle, or Breddle, which is a fertilized spreader, a very wide fertilized spreader at 12 meters with large capacity. I don't know uh, what the situation is going to be with the lime. I don't know if they're going to be separate spreaders. I would have thought they would be. We then have Capello. Now, in FS17, I've always interpreted the Capello headers as sort of universal headers, which will fit any Combine Harvester brand. I'm assuming it is going to be the same in 19. Uh, but at the moment we have the uh, the HS16, which is a 12 meter working width. We then have Case. Now this is the Case Optum CVX, and as we already know, um, in FS19 the shop has different categories, and it will actually categorise the different size tractors to make it easier when purchasing. So both of these have been put into the large tractor category, and we can see here the range is the range in power is 288 to 313 horsepower. Pretty fast, well, nice 50k gearbox. We then have the quad track, which was in yesterday's fact sheet, um, with a range of 525 to 692 horsepower. Pretty big. I'm bought, this is the weeders. Uh, now, obviously a weeder is used to remove weeds at an early stage. If they're really established, you have to use the, uh, the sprayer to kill off the weeds with the herbicide. But yeah, it doesn't require too much horsepower, 95. 12 meter working width, because what it's essentially doing is just tickling the surface. It's not trying to dig out the crop, it's just trying to get rid of the weeds. So that's why it doesn't take too much power. More on the way. We then have Elmer's. Uh, this is the Hallmaster. 400 horsepower requirement. Uh, incredibly large capacity. Obviously, you can configure it to your need. So you can have up to 70,000 litres, but you can go for 46,000 if you'd like to. Now for the Fence, we've got the Fence 700 Vario. This is a medium-sized tractor. And yep, there is the range of uh, horsepowers. We also have the Fence 1100 MT, which is obviously a large tractor. With a very wide range on horsepower just there as well. Not quite as powerful as the Quad Track can be. Um, but yeah, so a fairly impressive 40k gearbox. And more on the way of these. Flexi Coil. Now this, I believe, is from the Big Bud DLC on 17. So it's nice to see it being transferred over to 19. Pretty big, obviously requiring a large tractor to be able to pull that. That's the FlexiCoil ST820. We also have Flegel. This is actually uh, the Flegel bale trailer, which was shown in the Gamescom trailer. Um, and yes, yeah, the DPW210 in the baling technology section. Gregoire Besson, we have uh, a very large plow. This is the front three-point linkage attachment for it, which is in the miscellaneous section. The SPSL9 plow, with a very high horsepower requirement, understandably. 10.5 meters, which is quite impressive for a plow. We then have Grimmy, or Grimmer. This is the potato planting and harvesting section. So first of all, we have the 
uh, basically the trailed harvester. This is the top of the goes in the front. Uh, 65 horsepower, 3.2 meter requirements. Uh, that's the KS75 IV. And then on the back, or not necessarily on the back, you might do the topping first. We have the trailed harvester, the SE260. And it doesn't take too much horsepower. The interesting thing is the capacity of that is very similar to the capacity of the self-propel one. It is slightly larger in the self-propel one, but not a big difference at all. Um, I, I'm guessing that the working width is uh, considerably different, although it doesn't seem to say. But yeah, 435 horsepower, 25 uh, kilometers per hour, and it's slightly different to the one in 17. In fact, the one in 17 has the terror tracks on the front, or the tracks on the front, and the wheels at the back, so it's sort of the other way around. We then have a potato planter just here, the GL420. Three meters, 150 horsepower requirements. And then we have the massive GL860 compactor, uh, which is a six meter working width. So basically double the size of this one here, but the required horsepower is only slightly more. And the capacity is considerably larger. Uh, so I'd probably go for this one every time, but it depends on the size of your farm. Right, so we then have Hardy. This is the sprayer, the self propel one the Rubicon 9000 and yeah it's got a really wide working width and I believe actually that it can travel faster than sprays in 17 but yeah I think it can do pretty sure it can do anyway we then have Hudson Bikler if that is the correct pronunciation of that we have the uh, the two from the Big Bud DLC in 17 so again nice to see them being transferred over the Terminator TH18 Cedar and we also have the the uh, seed carts just here. Pretty big. TH1400. John Deere. Now, at the moment, we have the just the 8R, actually. Still only the 8R in the large category. There is the range. And we've also got the T560 uh, combine harvester. There you go. And we've got two headers so far. We've got the 625X, which is the serial header. There you go, 7.6 meter working width. And the corn and most likely sunflower header as well. The uh, John Deere 608C, 6 meter working width. We then have a weight, a pickup 1800. So I'm guessing 1.8 1 tons it would be. We then have the Joskin Transpace 8000, which I believe is the exact same trailer as the one on 17. The Garant Cot which is the slurry tank which was focused in the fact sheet last week there we go the agro liner got two of these very nice i'm sure it's got chunkier tires than it used to have as standard the tkd 302 and also the hkd 302 we now have the coon category so we've got the sprayers with the boost or the expansion tank on the front the pf 1500 which is where you can put your extra uh, chemicals or pesticide and also the Deltis 1302 MTA3 we then have the trail harvest, so this is the mounted one trail one, the Metris 4102 as for the Lizard we've got a brand new truck which has appeared here the Lizard Hulk um, I think the Roadrunner was there before in the previous video but this is a 550 horsepower truck with an 80 km per hour gearbox we then have the Roadrunner 620, this being the smaller one, and the pickup truck, the 1978, 200 horsepower, 120 kilometers per hour gearbox. We then have the Mani 2, the MLT 737, and in the Matty Ferguson category, we have the 7700 series, which amazingly comes under medium tractors, which I'm quite surprised about. I thought that would come under large because Matty Ferguson's tractors uh, that is fairly high end, it's not quite. The, the biggest, there is the 8700 series as well, but it's big. That can potentially be about 280 horsepower, I think, fully specced. Yes, that was a good guess. New Holland. So we've got some nice tractors here. We've got the medium size uh, T6, and we've got the T8. Interesting that the uh, T8 comes under large. I suppose, yeah, <laughs> you are looking at some fairly high horsepowers there. So, yeah, that's understandable. Uh, I'm assuming there is a range for the medium. It's probably, what would it be? It's 
probably 300 horsepower and above, which goes into large. I would have thought so. And obviously the gigantic, they should have gigantic tractors, the T9 going up to 550. We then have Roper. So at the moment it's just the one Roper, but I'm guessing the entire Roper DLC will be here. Uh, that's not confirmed, it's just a guess. The Kyler, the Kyler 2, and also there is the specification. Samson, we have the uh, story tanks with the accessories, the SD700, and also the SBH436, 36 meters. Stara, there we go. So we've got a nice Stara tractor here, the ST Max 180. The 180 reflecting the horsepower. The thing I've always um, found in FS which detracts me from going for a Stara is the traveling speed. If it could do 50k, it would be more tempting. But nice tractors nonetheless. The Imperador, this is the sprayer. We then have TT. Some of these are actually from the Platinum Edition on 17. Uh, now these do take a lot of power. I think it's due to the angle of the disc. Disc arrows. Yeah, 320 horsepower. Vardestad. So we've got some pretty big stuff here. We have the Tempo V TPV8. And we also have the FH2200 just here. We then have the Tempo L16 and the Seedhawk XL Toolbar 84 feet. And this goes with this one here, the air cart. So, yeah, big capacity. Vulture. We have the Vulture N series, small tractor. So it still comes under small at 201. Um, 50k gearbox, pretty big, pretty fast. And finally, the Wilson trailer which I know a lot of people have been very excited about. This is the Wilson Trailer Pace Setter, and it has a capacity of 60,000 litres, and there are more on the way. So there we go, that is the summary so far of Farming Simulator 19 and the tractors, implements, and basically all machinery which is going to be in the game. So yeah, that is where we stand today. Obviously loads more to come. Definitely don't look at this and say, oh, that's it, because it's not. Way more, and you can even... See that there's more coming, it says coming soon here, and in pretty much every category, it says coming soon as well. So stay tuned, more on the way. And at the moment, there's nothing in animals, nothing in fruits, but we do know the fruits and animals, so uh, yeah, we're more looking out for the vehicles, harvesters, equipment, that sort of stuff, and we do know the maps as well. If you're not aware of the maps, it's going to be um, an overhauled Platinum Edition map, which is a Stancia Lepacho. Also, we've got the Felsbrunn and Ravenport. They are the maps of FS19. Animals, we've got horses, pigs, sheep, cows, and yeah, people, obviously, because we are we're, we're doing multiplayer and stuff. Although you wouldn't really class a person as an animal, but there you go. Fruits, uh, let me get this off the top of my head. Uh, wheat, barley, canola, oats, sunflowers, corn, oilseed radish. I think that's all of them. So there you go. And obviously the rest we've just looked at. So thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more on this in the future. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.